All right, welcome Daisy community. So excited about this uh, presentation today to help everyone really understand the power of the Daisy token, the Daisy crowdfunding platform, and the tokenomics and everything that surrounds this incredible next uh, next phase for the Daisy community. You know, we are literally skyrocketing into phase two. I want to really just congratulate every one of you for creating this story. Uh, what, what you guys have done, what we've done as a community together the last couple of months has truly been record breaking. Uh, now close to 130,000 members that have joined the uh, Daisy movement, well over 150 million USDT that has now been funded into the first phase. And guys, this is just an amazing opportunity for every one of us uh, to really take the power of our community, uh, the entrepreneurial spirit of every member of this community, and really be able to go out and empower projects uh, and help bring them to market and create a whole nother stream of profits, equity, and income for the community. I'm so excited to um, introduce today, many of you have already seen Alex. Uh, we spoke together at the Digital Summit event. He's been on several webinars with us. Uh, Alex and his team came in and saved the day after uh, the January uh, launch of DAISY. They came in and took over the architecture of the smart contracts and really uh, came in and gave us what we have today. And during that time, Alex approached me and said, look, we've been working on something really, really big, a platform and it's the perfect fit for your community. And uh, he introduced me to one of his mentors who has uh, really been in the blockchain space along with Alex uh, since its inception and has built incredible relationships throughout the, the cryptocurrency community and the blockchain world. And it was just a perfect fit. We knew that if we could decentralize the crowdfunding model, really decentralize it, and get behind uh, some of the biggest projects that are coming to the market and allow the DAISY community to have exclusive access to these types of projects. Uh, we knew that we had something very valuable and that's the community. And we knew that the market right now is positioned for this type of platform. And so today, guys, we're gonna go through a lot of details to really help you understand exactly the tokenomics and how the uh, rewards work inside of the DAISY platform, how the business model itself works. And we're really excited because July 1st is the official launch. And it's just going to be incredible what takes place. You want to definitely plan to join us at 10 a.m. UTC time. We'll be doing a live global broadcast. It'll be translated live in many languages. And we'll be showing you exactly what you need to do and how to participate in this exclusive pre-sale for DAISY members only. So we've got some exciting things to talk about here today. And uh, I'm gonna turn it over to uh, my friend, my business partner, and the mastermind behind the technology and uh, the actual uh, uh, platform on the tech side, uh, my good friend, Alex. So Alex, thanks for being here. And uh, man, excited to share this information with everybody today. Um, thanks for inviting so um, I guess uh, the community has been wanting to hear uh, much more details about the project because we can kind of uh, went uh, like, hey, it's gonna it's gonna crowdfund stuff and so on. Um, this presentation we focus on hard details. What's gonna be there? What are we gonna do? And so, well, the things like how how the referrals work, how tokenomics works, and well. On a tokenomic uh, side of things, I guess uh, I'll pass the mic back to you if you allow me. Sorry for the short presentation. Awesome. No, I love it. We're gonna have a great time. So, guys, just you know, a <laughs> couple of quick highlights here, and, and Alex will, will jump in here. But as you guys know, we are making four pre-sale rounds available to the Daisy community, and uh, the first round is at ten at point ten USDT. The second round is at 0.25 USDT. The third round is at 0.50 USDT. And the fourth round is at one USDT. And there's going to be 75 million DAISY tokens in each round. And we'll be announcing the exact rollout, exactly how that's going to work. But just know that every member in DAISY 
will have access to that first round. Once the first round sells out, the second round will open and so on. And we've got a whole roadmap. Uh, everything's ready. Uh, uh, Alex and his team have uh, fully built the back end. Everything is ready uh, to go. We have no concerns about uh, being ready to launch on July 1st. Uh, we're 100% there and very excited about that. We also have a public round. It's going to be a very minimal amount of DAISY token that will be sold to the public. But we're going to do that to set a strong price in the marketplace. As you can see here, we also have 5% of the DAISY bonus pools that are allocated uh, of the DAISY token allocated to the bonus pools. Uh, the reason it's 5% is we will be making one more announcement on July 1st uh, as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, the, the decentralized autonomous organization portion of the fund, the DAO portion of the fund is 13.9%. And this will be utilized for everything that's that's needed to run the platform and to grow the platform. Um, and, and very transparent, you can see the team that includes the development team, that includes the uh, Daisy internal, the founders, and everybody involved in this project. A total of eight percent of the Daisy token is set aside for the team. Fifteen percent of the Daisy token is set aside for marketing. This is for marketing relationships. Uh, big influencers that are coming in to back the project and help bring Daisy to the world. And then 10% that will be available in the liquidity fund. That'll be used by the market makers. And 18% uh, that is set aside for farming. And that is just uh, to help with the initial infusion of the yields while we get the project off of the ground and to support the growth. Now, a couple of highlights that are very important to know here. Number one is once the DAISY project reaches certain benchmarks and we're past the initial launch phase, for example, maybe we end up using 5% of the 15% of tokens for marketing. Uh, we will be burning those remaining tokens. For example, uh, the team has agreed that we, once we reach certain benchmarks, so two things. Number one is all of our tokens will be locked up, invested all the way up to up to three years into the project. Now, guys, that's, uh, you know, we, I share that with you because I want you to know that our plan here is not for us to go out and dump the token. Uh, you're not, you know, you're, you're vesting, everybody's vesting, but we are vesting more than anyone is. On top of that, the team has to reach, the project has to reach benchmarks before any of our tokens can be released. And we've agreed as a team internally that we are willing to burn 50% of those tokens to simply contribute to the growth of the token in the marketplace. Uh, the same is true with the DAO tokens. Uh, they will be available for burn. The same is true with the uh, liquidity tokens. On top of that, guys, this is powerful. On top of that, the, uh, the funds that come in, for example, when the market makers go out and take those liquidity tokens, and they drive the market up in the open market. Any of the revenue that comes in from that is going back to the buyback program. So we will actually be buying back the DAISY token at the open market prices on the open exchange. And so uh, from, you know, from the, the, the funding that's in the DAO uh, accounts to uh, the, the, the money that comes through the liquidity trading, all of that is being designated to support the project and go back into buying back the token in the open market. And so why are we doing that? Because we want the 30% of tokens that you own to be the circulating supply. We want that 30% to be the majority of the DAISY token that's available in the open marketplace. Because again, like everything we do at DAISY, it's all about the community. And it's all about the long-term success of the project. And so from a tokenomic perspective, uh, what you guys can see here is that it's very fair. Uh, it, it leans in favor of the DAISY token holders, the members like you. It leans in your favor and everything else is used to simply support the growth of the project in the open marketplace. So Alex, I, I, any, any other thoughts that you have on, on the tokenomics uh, uh, breakdown? Um, I have a fire ready to burn our tokens. Um, I'm so sure in this project, uh, we do we actually need those? Perhaps a bit of them. I love it. And, and, and for those that may not understand what that means is, is burning the tokens means they're gone forever. It means instead of 
somebody being able to claim those tokens and go sell them, those tokens are gone. And so, for example, if there's a total of 1 billion tokens and our goal would be to burn 50% of those. And so if we burn 500 million tokens, that means that the circulating supply and the total supply becomes even stronger. Whenever you have a lower supply and a higher demand, what happens? The price goes up. And so this is a, a big commitment. Uh, and all of this, of course, will be put into the smart contract. And uh, you know, this is not just a decision that we make, but this will all be put, put into the governance and all of that uh, will be instituted through the community. So very, very powerful tokenomic structure designed to support the value of the token, the success of the project, and ultimately to benefit those of you who participate in the launch of this project by purchasing in the pre-sale round. All right, next slide. <laughs> All right, so let's excite uh, people with next slide. Next slide, we want to introduce kind of the paradigm shift of uh, current uh, crowdfunding, which uh, we modestly call a decentralized crowd offering. Uh, how we came to be with it, right? We researched and we researched a lot. <laughs> and we get got a lot of feedback from you guys, by the way. We researched classical IPOs, IDOs, uh, ICOs, uh, more, more of the usual crowdfunding models, like the one that Kickstarter uh, provides and so on. And we uh, really wanted to create this model that's uh, first, uh, that's applicable to big project, to real life projects. And uh, it's not the me too model, the one you see a lot on the market. And uh, well, I would like to go over with Jeremy over some of the benefits of our decentralized crowd offering. Well, first one is we would really like to focus on a high race project. That's uh, well, I, I think that's what we were focusing on. Um, we would happy to have uh, different kinds of projects, but the big, uh, huge, uh, high, high prospect ones like we did before, uh, this is the meat of uh, this. This is how we exist, right? Uh, so the second thing is performance-based rewards. Um, we don't want to build a platform, well, that no one uses and no one in interested in. And it's kind of, uh, what if there are people that really want to participate to build out their portfolio, but uh, instead of uh, doing it, instead of having some kind of uh, reason to do it, they sit and they go uh, over multiple stages of registrations and applications and joinings. And uh, in the end, after you bring these people through, through seven health to join the platform, uh, well, you get exactly nothing. We are not believers in that. We'll make sure that you benefit and you benefit hard from it. Now, the third one. Uh, well, uh, we basically give our power to you guys. Uh, first, uh, well, honestly, it's easier for tech team that way. But on a side note, uh, it's, it's a proper thing to do. Once we issue all of those tokens and we issue a lot, that simultaneously means that we transfer a lot of governance rights, well, most of them actually, to, to you guys. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff with it. You can uh, issue platform changes. You can vote to include or exclude any proposals, a any kinds of configuration, uh, you do it. And well, last but not least, it's a protected platform. We'll make sure throughout our DCO process that first, bad guys don't get in. Second, bad guys don't get out. Right, <laughs> um, that's been like the high level overview. Um, in the next slide, we want to tell you a story, a story of Alice. Alice the backer, uh, a person who wants to join a uh, Daisy platform. Uh, well, 
who's Alice? She's uh, a lot of things, actually. First, she uh, believes in our platform growth. She, uh, she read about it. She's perhaps been with us uh, through the tough times that uh, Jeremy sometimes likes to mention. Um, she just believes in Daisy, wants Daisy to grow, believes that uh, token would go up. Second, um, she wants to build a portfolio of good projects. What well, she's really interested in uh, making good investments and making, making sure that uh, the ecosystem around her is trustworthy. Um, so uh, perhaps she wants to invest some funds in multiple projects, different projects. But all of those projects, well, I guess they must be good, right? <laughs> um, and the last one is she is active. She wants to participate. Well, she may not if she decides to not do that. But uh, she has this motivation to uh, well, bring anybody uh, and uh, make uh, her and uh, perhaps uh, her friends, team around her, uh, work together. Now, the question is, uh, how the hell can she do it? Um, well, we worked extensively on this slide with Jeremy, so I guess he'll take the mic. Awesome. So, you know, in order for Alice to be able to participate in any of the uh, uh, DCO projects that are coming through the platform, Alice has to be a member of the DAISY platform. She has to join the DAISY DCO platform. And how does she do that? Well, she's going to buy the DAISY token and she's going to stake the DAISY token. And so when she purchases the DAISY token and she stakes that token, she now has access to all of the benefits as a supporting active member of the community. And then she's also going to have to go through a KYC approval process. Why is the KYC important? The KYC is important because uh, legally, uh, in order to be a launch platform, we've got to make sure it's a real person. We got to make sure that that person is a real individual and that they're not laundering their money or they're not some uh, bad actor out there that's disguising themselves, but they're a real person. And so uh, we'll have a very simple KYC process where people from all over the world, you simply go through a quick digital process, you verify your ID, and, uh, and we know, uh, the platform knows, the person or the entity that holds this wallet is a real person, and we know who that person is. And that's it, once that happens, once, uh, uh, she buys the token and she goes through the KYC process. She is now a active uh, member of the DAISY platform. And as an active member of the DAISY platform, uh, she has the opportunity to participate in all of the future projects, right? She has the option to participate in any future project on the DAISY platform. To do that, she's going to stake the DAISY token, and she's going to get the rewards of staking, the yields, and we'll talk about all that today, but she's going to get the rewards of actually staking in DAISY. And really, I want, to, I want everyone to understand the concept of staking. What staking says is, I believe in the project. What staking says is, I'm planting, a good way to look at it is I'm planting my flag in this project. Now, when you stake, you still own the DAISY token. When you stake, you can you can uh, uh, remove that token from staking, and you can sell in the open market at any time. But but what staking says is, I'm willing to back the project, and it also gives you access to governance. When you stake the Daisy token, you now actually it, it's like being an owner of the project. You're now a an, a participate active owner. You can vote. You can bring ideas and proposals to the community. And it's very powerful. So staking gives you a lot of rewards and it anchors you in and says, I believe in this project and in the future of this project. And it allows you to have voting rights and governance in the project as well. So it's very simple. You buy Daisy, you stake the token and you go through a simple, literally a two minute KYC digital process that will uh, we'll provide. I, I really wanted to emphasize how deeply we believe in KYC because on uh, in the current market and so within this crypto world the funny thing is going on so 
basically project when you crowdfund uh, $1 billion. Uh, 90, million of those can be actually provided by one person, right? If you don't do KYC or by thousand different, uh, well, robots for people, right? So uh, we, we need it. We need it because we want our uh, projects to, well, first and foremost, be legally, legally plausible. Second, we want participating projects to actually use the KYC opportunities that we provide. So uh, we've been researching the process, how the projects do that. We, we know that there's this extensive process that they must bring uh, all of the people who they want to include on the platform uh, to do the KYC. We believe that this must be native, right? Yeah, and, and it's important to note, too, that, that the purpose of the KYC, but e e each individual person, you're responsible for your own jurisdiction and rules and what you can and can't do. This is just a decentralized platform, right? This is a, we're, we're not, uh, the, that KYC simply tells the smart contract that Alice is a real person, right? And Alice doesn't have a hundred other wallets in the system. This is Alice and Alice owns this wallet, Right. As far as everything else, that, that's, that's not the purpose. The purpose of the KYC, it's not to find out where you live or gather personal information or any of those things at all. Uh, anyone in the world can go through the KYC process. It's an AI-based digital process that simply verifies that this person owns this wallet. It's a real person behind this wallet. And they're not taking on a hundred different wallets in the community. They're they're anchoring themselves in the ecosystem as a user. It's very simple, very simple process. And I love what you said, Alex. It also lets the projects know that are coming into the ecosystem that we have a real community, that each wallet represents a person. And so when we have a hundred thousand wallets, that's a hundred thousand people around the world that are backing this project, that are talking about this project. And it's not just some computer system that created 10,000 wallets and we're pretending like we're something we're not. It lets them know that the community is real and that each one of these staking wallets is an actual person behind it. All right, so you mentioned one keyword in my uh, dictionary. You just told staking, now, well, since you mentioned it, I think it's a good time to talk about it. Um, basically, Jeremy outlined it beautifully. I perhaps will try to re-outline it, and I may as well do it, well, perhaps more, a bit uglier. So <laughs> anyways, uh, Alice wants to stake, right? Uh, it's actually quite simple. First, she brings, well, this to stake. Uh, after this, she gets uh, yield. She uh, enjoys her daisy earnings. And she also gets a yield from a huge project that may participate on this uh, platform in, uh, in their tokens. So what, what is the DCO yield? We mean the DCO yield is in a project token. Now, uh, more than that, as we kind of bragged, we would really like to do this uh, social participation thingy uh, and introduce boosters. Booster means that uh, you would increase your share into the staking pool. You would get more than usual for doing, well, more than usual. Um, first, um, it would be based on a staked amount. Uh, for us, it means a lot if you bring more. Because this means that you are a believer in Daisy, you are the platform supporter, right? So depending on the amount you provide, we would uh, increase uh, this uh, booster that you've got. Second, staking period. Well, uh, belief with the money is great, but there is also this dedication. A, a, a time that you're willing to uh, put your Daisy tokens for. The, the longer it is, uh, we, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't do the crazy time interest. We wouldn't do 10 years, right? It would be a, a reasonable uh, time span for you to temporarily lock your tokens. 
and so, well, get additional reward for doing that. Uh, third one is referrals. Uh, we'll touch slightly more on the referral side of things, but the gist of it is uh, you would uh, invite uh, people, and when people are invited, uh, you would enjoy your uh, booster points. Uh, lastly, oh, that's that's what Jeremy loves. Uh, I'll kind of uh, name the name and let him uh, take it over. It's DCO participation, Jeremy. What is it? Yeah, and I want to real quickly. I want to. I want to just just pinpoint a couple of things here. Is that first of all, each one of these boosters operate separate from each other and yet together. So, for example, let's say someone's not a big staker in in, in amount, right? Okay, then you don't get to enjoy that booster, but you brought a lot of referrals who are stakers. Well, now you get to participate in that booster, right? And so each of these boosters really kind of stands alone. And of course, if you put them all together, you could really, you know, boost your 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 yield uh, returns uh, on staking period. Another thing I want to comment on is that that's your that that is a choice that you get to make. And so when a person stakes, if they're willing to commit and say, "Hey, I'm willing to do a 90 day stake." And someone else says, I'm willing to do a 12 month stake, right? Or someone else says, I don't want to commit to any staking period at all, then they wouldn't have this benefit. But the longer someone would commit to, the more boost they would get on the yields, right? And so the DCO participation is powerful as well, because if you guys notice here on this slide, there's two forms, two types of yields that you're going to be receiving. Number one is the DAISY token itself. And this is powerful. So you earn the DAISY token by staking and you can boost the DAISY token with these boosters. But the second yield that you're gonna get is the yield of the DCO projects. And so if a project launches on the platform, they have their token, a portion of that token is gonna go to the community. And those who choose to participate in those projects will have a higher yield in those DCO tokens, right? So if you stake Daisy, you will earn some yield. But if you participate in a project, you're going to earn even more yield of that project's tokens. Well, we surely do like hustlers. So in the next slide, we're going to uh, show you how the hustle is made. Say, uh, we're back to it. And uh, we actually do have a friend. Uh, her name is Carol. And she's been really interested in Daisy also. So Alice decides, well, uh, she, since she's interested, I'm interested. She sends her a link, right? Link by which uh, Carol can refer to a Daisy platform. And uh, well, Carol goes through the uh, registration process and decides like, man, it's hell of a platform. I, I also want, want to stake there. So she stakes, right? When Carol stakes, uh, two sides are benefiting from it. Both Alice and Carol enjoy booster rewards. Uh, Alice gets booster based on the uh, quantity that Carol has provided. And Carol uh, gets her booster just based on the refer that she used. If there's anything else, Jeremy? I'm all yours. It's powerful. And guys, think about this a second. Carol goes out to the open exchange. Carol goes to XYZ exchange or Carol goes to Uniswap or Carol goes to PancakeSwap and she buys the DAISY token. Okay, great. Everyone's going to do that, right? They have to buy on the open market. But Carol says, I want to stake the DAISY token. It's in Carol's best interest to actually stake through a referral link. And this is powerful, right? Because even though Carol's buying the token on the open market and it supports the value and the growth of the token value, when it's time for Carol to stake the token, it's better for Carol to come through a DAISY member and use a referral link for staking. And it's just, it's genius actually, because if you're talking to a friend about DAISY and they go, hey, I want it. You say, great, go to this exchange, buy the token. Once you buy the token, Here's my link. Use this link to set up your staking. And you get a booster in yields, and Carol gets a booster in yields. Someone else who skips the referral process is going to get less of a reward. So, Alex, I absolutely love this component of uh, the whole ecosystem. I think it's genius. And 
Um, and I, you know, the moment you shared this idea with us, we, we just went crazy over it. This is really, really a smart part of the platform. And uh, I would like to also make uh, some scary promises that I perhaps cannot fulfill or, or I would forget about it in 10 minutes. But uh, what I'm making or would like to make my team do is when you are on a certain network, like on ETH or on a Binance Smart Chain, you probably have the tokens. You know, you know the story. You must have ETH to pay gas. You must have... Uh, BNB to, to do that on the Binance Smart Chain and well, man, you probably know about TRX story, right? So what we'll try to do is to make this uh, um, process auto-swappable. So it would be potentially seamless without going on the exchange uh, thingy. That's it would do the external exchange and just provide uh, you with the, the intended these terms. Mm, you would probably Cross beat chain, me for beautiful. announcing it. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, on a non-staking side of things, perhaps we, we must uh, well talk about how the actual DCO is done. Now, uh, say Alice uh, browsed through multiple projects. One project she really liked. Uh, this project, well, is our example project called NF Toys. Right after uh, researching project details that would be available on our platform, she decides, well, I want to back it up. Why not? It might be a good project. Now, on the other side of things, there, there, there was a person. His name is Bob. Bob the entrepreneur is actually a creator of, of uh, NF Toys project. And he wants to raise money. Right. He wants to raise uh, a decent sum of 10 million uh, USDT. He wants uh, to enjoy this venture uh, capital thingy and uh, will have publicly tradable tokens. Now, uh, what's this project? So what, what, what are we talking about? Well, uh, first, it's, it's a functioning online business. Um, Bob has been doing this project for a long time with just his usual uh, online shop. He's been quite successful, right? Uh, he's been uh, uh, doing it for multiple years and that's why he might be confident that he may actually join a DAISY platform. Now, second, he's okay with sharing some of the profits. Uh, since Bob wants to expand in the multiple markets, and make this online shop not on his nation scale, but perhaps on the world scale. He uh, wants to grow by trading some parts of his tokens publicly. And last one, he is interested in a unlimited number of people that uh, Daisy platform may actually provide. So he knows that by joining Daisy, he he actually joins a community. And if community decides to vote for his project and back his project, well, they probably gonna well, buy his stuff, buy his NFT toys, right? Um, so <laughs> uh, what he needs to do, right? Um, he submits the application form. There are, a lot of details that you would probably require. You would uh, require stuff like white paper or extensive technical description, uh, business model, right? Um, uh, unlimited number of social links, all of the Twitters, uh, Facebooks, uh, Telegrams, Discords, uh, um, depending on when you are that you can provide. Um, and you, well, you would just uh, submit, submit the form and wait uh, for the result. Um, how this, what, what happens behind the curtains of waiting? Well, actually a lot. Uh, the extensive research process happens where we dig into depths of your project on a multiple level. And uh, well, we start with the simplest one, the feasibility of it. 
the business side. Jim, what are we going to look on the business side? Well, one of the things that makes our platform very unique is that we're looking for actual profitable businesses. And uh, in many cases, the only profits that a project has, I've seen this a lot in, in the blockchain space, is the value of the token, right? So they, they hope the token goes up and this is their idea of profits. This is very bad business. This, these are the types of projects that don't last, they don't sustain in the market. What we're looking for is businesses that have real business model, real profits behind them that can be shared with the community, a real business plan in the marketplace. And so, you know, immediately if a project doesn't have a business model that generates real profits, uh, regardless of how valuable the token might appear to become, we're looking for businesses that really would make it in the real business world. Okay. Uh, next one's for me, I guess. So how, how would we do a tech review? Well, we would start with uh, browsing through a white paper, if your project has one, or we'll extensively uh, token with your tech team. Uh, we need to know the details and the specifics on how you intend to do uh, something well, that you want. Uh, second is probably the feasibility of it. I mean, if a project comes along, and he says something like, hey, I want to build this NFT spaceship and launch it to Mars. And I'll do this uh, probably in a couple of weeks. Uh, and <laughs> it would be all is based. Um, uh, you would probably have a bit more questions about that. Um, and well, uh, after uh, going through the tech side of things, uh, by the way, we'll make sure you're up to speed with all the tech stuff that you need to do. So say you're uh, launching your project and you want public listings, uh, you, you want to create a, a uni pool, you want some liquidity provision. Uh, we may uh, connect you with some guys who are proficient in doing that. Right. And uh, well, we'll just uh, ask your team if they're okay, if, if they had this experience, if they didn't, we may uh, help them out somewhat with that. Now, <laughs> on, on the spicier side of things, it must be very good stuff. Um, Jeremy, what are some bad legal examples that people might do? Well, yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of things, you know, and, and, and you know, none of us are, are legal experts, but we have a legal team, uh, one of the best legal teams uh, in this space, multiple legal teams, actually, that will be vetting these projects and making sure that uh, they are legally sound, making sure that the DAISY community is protected if we were to vote on that model and making sure they're structured in the proper way that they're presenting and, and, and approaching the market in a legitimate way. Again, in any of these categories, if a project comes and it's a great project, great idea, great team, and maybe they're lacking, maybe they need legal support, or maybe they need technical support or business development support, uh, we provide that as well, right? We have the resources, the ability, ability uh, to provide the help that they need in these areas from, you know, from marketing, to, you know, uh, uh, you know, tech development, right, with Alex and his team and the experts that we have in our network, uh, we provide that, but we, we will make sure that the uh, legal team, uh, that the legal part of the project is completely uh, legitimate and that everything checks out uh, with our attorneys. Yeah, uh, for, uh, for example, say you pay dividends suddenly. It's a, a showstopper. You cannot pay dividends with a token that hasn't been approved by SEC. So we, we probably don't want that. Now, after you pass uh, this, these stages of potential hell, or well, actually knowing what you need to do to uh, burst this baby project, you go through a community vote. Uh, really, uh, we cannot and we do not want to introduce projects that the community finds inappropriate or uh, not uh, cool enough for a daisy platform. So uh, we would issue a vote and uh, you guys would decide what to do with it. If you want to go have it, go have it. Okay. It. <laughs> so um, basically you, you've been approved, congrats. 
you are on a platform. Now, there's a lot of things that you might need to configure before you actually start your pre-sale. So here, here comes your configuration stage. First, you would select the DCO type. And uh, well, since I've probably talked about internals of this DCO with Jeremy for like one hour, he's a passionate man when it comes to DCO types. And uh, he'll probably take it from me right now, starting with this bad boy. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, the DCO types will fall into two categories. The, the first category is a high raise uh, a DCO, meaning that uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a large project. Uh, it's going to take a significant amount of support for that project to go to market. But what does that also mean? It means that there are high margins, right? And so it means that there's a bigger opportunity uh, for the community. Uh, we can involve more people into that project. Uh, there's more profits to be shared in the long term, and we would consider it a, a power project, something that really has the potential to be a multi, multi-billion dollar project in the marketplace. It's going to require a larger amount of capital in the beginning, but it has a much bigger potential on the back end. So in this high raise category, uh, first of all, uh, this will include an exclusive first round, which means anyone who is staking the DAISY token can actually subscribe to this round and you can have a allocation in that first round raise. And that's powerful because it guarantees that as a staking member of DAISY, you get to participate at the lowest price of the largest projects. And it's guaranteed. You have the option to say, I want to allocate uh, uh, my, my portion uh, of staking, and then you can uh, participate in that fund. And you can do that with, uh, for example, USDT or whatever it might be. So your staking token gives you rights to that round. And then you can participate in that round based upon your allocation. Uh, this DCO, I love the fact that there's high margins, so it allows us to do some really creative things, some long-term uh, potential yield benefits for the members. Uh, these are long-duration projects, right? So these are projects that are going to have multiple phases of development. I personally love large projects, even when it comes to owning their tokens, because a large project, uh, even with small benchmarks along the way, can see tremendous growth in, this, in the value of the token in the open market. So uh, you know, there's projects that today are still, they, they've, been, they've been on the market for five years, their tokens growing, 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 they're still not complete. But every time they reach a significant benchmark of development, the value of the token really goes up. So I personally love long-term, long-duration projects uh, because it just has, you know, many stages of, of momentum attached to it. And then with the, with the high-raise projects, because they are such large capacity, uh, these will also involve an open round, which means staking members will have exclusive first round opportunities, but then we will open up additional rounds where uh, anybody can participate as long as they go through the process. So uh, it allows us to just have more participation in those projects with higher yields and, and potentially higher profit margins. Now, the second category is, is low raise, lower raise projects, right? And so, uh, you know, there are many great projects and we, you know, really went back and forth on this, but we don't want to eliminate smaller projects because sometimes smaller projects can become the home run, right? But we also know that because a project is smaller, there's less tokens available. There's less, you know, let's say a project needs to raise 100,000 USDT or a uh, million USDT. We would consider that a small project. Well, you know, with our current 125,000 members, and by the end of this year, a million members, well, if we had a million dollar project, that means everyone could contribute $1 to the project. Well, that's not very fun. That's not very fair, right? To, you know, gonna say, hey, I, I own one token in the project or whatever it might be. And so with the lower raise projects, uh, we will use what's called an exclusive lottery. So that means if you're a staking member and you say, I'm interested in this project, you can throw your wallet into the hat, so to speak, right? You can throw your, your, your wallet into the drawing, the lottery drawing, and a certain amount of people will be selected 
for each of these smaller projects to be able to participate uh, in that. And it'll be a random drawing done completely through, through the smart contract and, and it'll be a completely randomized process. Uh, these projects have lower margins, and that's why we we, can't, we don't want too many people involved in these smaller projects. They're typically going to be a shorter duration, right? So they'll achieve their final uh, final uh, uh, benchmark much quicker. And in these lower raise uh, opportunities, these lower raise uh, DCOs, there will not be any open rounds. There won't be a need for an open round because we'll be able to fulfill what that what that project needs with a much smaller group of people in a much shorter amount of time. Okay, so it sounds exciting. Now, there's this interesting thing called uh, project token rewards pool, which means that uh, when a new project joins a platform, he would uh, provide some quantity of token. And uh, a share of these uh, tokens would uh, be needed to distribute it to a rewards pool. Um, this would be done upfront, right? Com completely, you, you bring your tokens, uh, some, some fee share is going on, poof, and they're gone. Now, there are two configurations uh, for uh, this rewards distribution that, uh, well, actually, Mr. Jeremy here has uh, invented. So I'll uh, ask uh, him to describe those ones. Awesome. So with the large projects, which which will probably represent 90% of all of the revenue, right, that comes through the, the platform. With the large DCO projects, tokens will be rewarded, DCO tokens will be rewarded to DAISY stakers. So by staking the DAISY token, you'll have some reward in, in these other tokens, but you'll also get additional yield boosters uh, that will go uh, to those who actively participate in the DCO. So some portion of the DCO tokens will go to members who are just daisy stakers, but there'll be another portion of those tokens that will go to active participants. So for those members who say, hey, I'll, I, wanna, I wanna actually contribute to uh, you know, NF toys, then that person who contributes will have a higher yield in that particular project than maybe someone who says, I'm not going to contribute to that project, but you're staking the DAISY token. You'll have yields, but you will have uh, higher yields in the DCO projects. And of course, you'll still get your, whether you participate or not in that project, you still earn your DAISY token rewards as well. One of the unique things too, by the way, on these larger projects, and we're not gonna talk about this in, during this presentation, we're gonna make some big announcements around this in the future, but right now we're talking about the front end yield, right? And that means when a project joins, they, they give their token to the project, right? And we, we, we were able to share those with the community. But when we fulfill the goal, so let's say a project says, I, we have a goal to raise 50 million and we reach that goal of 50 million, guess what? On the back end, that project will also give a fee back to the project, to the community. So not only do you have the opportunity to earn on the front end, but also on the back end, when that project, when that raise is complete, there's a whole nother round of yields that takes place. And this is one of the very unique things. This, this, is, this is really what makes this a business project, right? Because, because there's, there's not just front end money, there's front end and back money. And in some instances, uh, I can tell you that one of the DCOs that we'll be launching right now, not only is there a round of yields when we finish the raise, but there's actually long-term yields inside of the project itself for the members that support it. So ongoing yields, not just in the beginning of the raise and at the end of the raise, but when the, and as the project succeeds, there's additional yields that are returned to the community, right? And this is a very unique component to the DCO model. This It's not just about the short term, but for us, it's about building relationships with projects for years to come. And as we help those projects succeed in the market, we have, uh, uh, for lack of better words, equity and profit sharing in the back end of those, of, of those successful projects. So with the large DCOs, again, to, to recap, if you stake the DAISY token, you earn tokens in those projects. 
if you participate in those projects, you earn additional tokens in the in the rewards. For small DCO, for smaller projects, those tokens will be only rewarded to the active participants of the projects. We want to be very transparent about that. If we have a, a project that's a, a hundred thousand dollar raise project and it's going to be a, a small project in the marketplace, uh, then we don't want to dilute that value by dispersing that small value to you know a hundred thousand different people. So in the small projects, the token rewards from the DCOs will go to those who actively participate in uh, in those projects. Okay, so yeah, I'll go and quickly recap, perhaps visually, the beautiful words that you've told us. Uh, so project has some tokens. He sends their tokens, uh, her, her, his her tokens to the high raise DCO. And uh, our smart contracts take a share of the tokens that you've provided and uh, transfer them to a reward pool. Reward pool uh, for a high raise project consists of two main uh, well, lucky actors, I say. First, it's uh, every active participant that uh, really gets the project going. And second, uh, stakers uh, from our staking contracts, they do enjoy this uh, juicy airdrop that Jeremy mentioned multiple times. Now for a uh, low raise project, it's quite similar except for uh, no staking benefits. So uh, the, the reason is quite simple for a 100K race, uh, as we have uh, mentioned, you'll get like probably one cent or one dollar. Uh, well, it's not that interesting anyways. All uh, right, so on the participation side of things, say uh, Alice wants to, uh, well, uh, back this project to get some of those uh, USDTs in exchange for tokens at a best price. Uh, she uh, buys DCO tokens, right? After she does it, uh, she uh, may earn additional DCO yield. Uh, you probably heard the similar uh, story that we already told you, but yeah, we would like to introduce participation rewards. <laughs> Those participation rewards would include a uh, purchase amount. So the more you purchase, the better your extra bonus pool yield. Second is vesting period. This is like a two-way exchange between you and your project. <laughs> uh, well, project wants people to not sell all of the tokens immediately they need continuous growth. And uh, in order to facilitate this continuous growth, they uh, may say, okay, so uh, you lock up these tokens for this period and you would enjoy uh, this uh, extra uh, reward pool shares, right? Uh, why this is good for you action? By being a long-term investor, and when project does vesting, this means that first and foremost, this project is in it for a long time. So it's like uh, it's like you shake shake hands. Let's have a long-term profit. Third, is a uh, referral program. You would be able to refer guys to join project, and uh, both of you would get benefit from it. Now, last one is juices. So I'll I'll let the Jeremy talk about team performance benefits. I love it. We'll we'll be going much deeper into this over the over the weeks to come. Uh, but you know, of course, uh, Daisy is a peer to peer model, and we want to make sure that uh, if your influence, if your leadership is causing a viral effect behind any particular project we want to be able to automate that and to be able to track that right and so through uh, the technology of the platform you know if if you end up referring you know mary to the platform and mary becomes a staker and mary ends up bringing three or four whales to the platform and they become stakers and whatever the scenario might be and you know maybe somebody in india catches the vision all of a sudden you know ten thousand members from a city and a community join you know get behind a project we want to make sure that if you're the influencer 
that's causing this viral effect behind any particular project or behind even staking and days, either one that you're rewarded for that, right? And that's very important. So uh, this is you know, just to the heart of Daisy, right? That we believe in this peer to peer, we believe that uh, social influence and leadership is one of the biggest assets in the world. And if you carry that asset of an influencer and you're influencing this, this dynamic of growth behind a project, then you certainly deserve a reward. The great thing about it in, 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 in today's world of, of this environment of technology is all of that can be trackable and verifiable through the blockchain. And we can know what chain of impact each person has. And we wanna make sure that those who create that growing effect through leadership, through influence, have an increase in the amount of rewards that you're earning. So uh, we're, we'll, we'll be announcing some details around that in the future, but it will be a very big part of the DCO projects. And it'll be a very big part of referring DAISY uh, stakers, people who stake the DAISY token, both of those will have this team performance effect to it. Great. So uh, what I really would like to do is to go through the stages of your DCO, how it starts, how it ends, and what happens. So how it starts? It starts with your registration. You basically come in, you select a project that you like, you tap the join button, and you wait. You wait for it to start. Now, depending on the DCO, uh, certain magic may go on. For example, if it's a low raise project, this is where we would do a lottery, right? If it's not, well, you just uh, wait for a bunch of guys to uh, get going and you get going. Uh, this uh, pre-sale, this uh, DCO, it uh, goes to the next round, which is exclusive round, uh, which we touched upon with uh, Jeremy. Uh, this round would have uh, a raise limit and time limit, and it would have best prices. Uh, this round is uh, uh, allowed only for DAISY members. So you would get your time window as long as you stake the DAISY tokens to participate in this round. Uh, after it, we go to the next one, which is an open round. Um, prices are uh, prices may be a bit higher, but well, if you compare them to a market price, uh, that's, uh, that's nothing, right? Uh, this round would be also a race-based, time-based. It depends on the project. We would talk with them. We would ask them, hey, how long do you want to have it? Uh, how, how much do you want to raise, right? And it's uh, allowed to all participants. Uh, asterisk, asterisk, uh, by all participants, we mean is if it's uh, high raise, it's really all participants that have joined the DAISY platform. If it's a low raise, it's all participants that won the lucky ticket. Uh, then, well, uh, oops. Then the unlock stage happens. This means that projects have raised the amount of uh, they were intending to raise. Um, or, well, they ran out of time. But let's not uh, talk about uh, set things. Uh, if, uh, if you would like to, you can at any time after the raise ends, get purchase tokens. You would also have your reward tokens unlocked. And eventually, why eventually we would describe it in the next slide, you would get your precious days just for participating in DCO. Um, perhaps I'm missing something, Jeremy. Uh, you, you all know. right. Thank you, sir. Now, uh, details on what happens when DCO ends. Your dealist, you uh, withdraw the tokens that you bought. And simultaneously, you withdraw reward project tokens from the reward pool. All right. uh, you don't get DAISY quite yet. So uh, what happens is the project, he provides you us the DCO platform with DAISY. 
uh, the, what this allows, this uh, uh, opens this tab and it allows project to uh, withdraw their uh, raise share. Now, we do not, uh, first, we do not allow project to uh, withdraw unless they really compensate our community with the daisy that uh, they were promised. Uh, second, uh, it's not a 100% unlock. So don't expect some guys running away with uh, all of the raised funds. Uh, no, not, not here. This is not the place. Now, well, after what uh, Alex means by that is, is the DAISY token, the fee that they pay is 100% paid, but they cannot collect their money, number one, until that fee is paid. And number two, we don't just hand them that money. Because what if this project was a bad project? What if we handed them $100 million and they disappeared and they, they, did, not, they did not complete the project? And so Alex will continue to explain this, but we, we really want to make sure to protect the community from any potential bad actors that may have a temptation to take the money and run. We want to make sure that we protect the community. So they pay the DAISY tokens in order to get the first release of their funds and those tokens go back to to the community yep so basically after this mutual exchange of initial uh vested raise percentage uh, for a daisy tokens you would be able to uh, enjoy your daisy token rewards now uh why this uh, gets uh, our daisy platform heart beating uh well this means that each project that we do actually is directly related to a DZ token price. So uh, it doesn't matter what uh, are the market conditions, right? Project needs to uh, compensate the easy community with the easy tokens. So what would project do? Project would buy their tokens on the open market. Therefore, uh, influencing uh, uh, DZ price in a positive way. Uh, moreover, we intend to introduce a platform fee, say 1% of the DZ provided would be burned, which would uh, double this effect of uh, making DZ real valuable and real holdable um, for our community. Now, uh, if there's anything else I'm missing, uh, please help me out with that. No. Um, okay. Um, otherwise, let's talk about protection, which that touched upon it, but I want to reiterate uh, how protection works. First, immediately after a race, you get some of the uh, raised uh, token unlocked. This raised token would probably be something stable, like. USDC, USDT, or perhaps the native currency like ETH or uh, BNB and so on. Now, uh, second, your next unlock would be available only if uh, you, um, you uh, apply, you um, be, a, be eligible right, for uh, the certain KPI parameters. Now, um, these KPI parameters, they may be configured in a well, governable way or in a time-locked way. So it, it depends on what we're gonna agree upon. Uh, one example would be like, hey, you just cannot unlock uh, uh, more than 10% per three months. This would be like that the usual Western KPI. But we may be like a bit more elaborate than that. Uh, for example, we might say, uh, hey, to get this uh, quantity, you must actually uh, grow your market capitaliz capitalization by this percentage. Or we expect uh, price to be this quantity within next year or so, right? This is how we, this is how we control the um, that project uh, behaves accordingly to the uh, agreements that we made before. Now, and uh, perhaps the most important part, we 
would issue refunds if uh, you guys are unhappy. Basically, if project fails to perform, if project uh, cannot hit their KPIs and say, if the community is not happy with how development is going uh, and uh, management is uh, doing their job, uh, we may issue refund. We would review it together, so you would vote, so we would uh, delve into details with our research team. We would come to a certain conclusion on that. And uh, if refund needs to happen, it happens. Uh, all of the tokens that are staying on a smart contract and are invested, they can be exchanged back. Powerful. Oh. Again, it really protects the community, uh, protects you know, protects uh, the projects, and I just I love it. I, I love that, uh, that 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 that's built into the model. Yep. Well, that's it for now. Awesome, Alex. Ben, I appreciate you taking so much time to uh, to put this together and and to share with the community here today, um, guys. We we just we have a we have an incredible opportunity together right now. Uh, as, as everybody knows, July first. Uh, we are opening up the pre-sale of the tokens to the DAISY community. Uh, it's going to be a total of six days, and that's it. So six days and and done uh, for the community. We will have, if, 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 if for any reason, uh, the uh, pre-sale tokens are not sold out in those six days, uh, we are going to have a referral round that allows DAISY members to refer non-DAISY members at $1.25 uh, uh, per, per token. And we'll have a short period of time where we'll offer that referral round as well. It's a chance of a lifetime. No one else will ever have this opportunity. Uh, only the DAISY community will be able to participate in this pre-sale. And as you can see, uh, we're doing things the right way with solid, solid foundations. At the end of the day, the, the most important thing that we can deliver on uh, in the weeks and months ahead is the projects that we're launching. We're very excited because in July, we will be announcing uh, some of those first projects before we go to the exchanges and we go, go live on the exchanges. We'll be announcing those first projects. We'll be doing calls with those projects and letting you really get familiar with those projects. Here's what I can tell you as someone who's very picky. I say no, I say, I say no to more projects, 90% more I say no to than I say yes to personally. Uh, it takes a lot to get me because my mind is very analytical. I have to see the science. I have to see the the business uh, logic behind it. I have to see the trend behind it, uh, the team behind it. So for me to get excited about a project uh, takes a lot. I can say the same about Edward, Ilya. I can say the same about Alex and Yuri. Uh, we've seen it all, right? We've seen it all in the market and uh, we know bullshit when we see it. And uh, I can tell you that the first uh, four projects that we're going to be bringing to the community are just phenomenal. I mean, there's, I'm, when I tell you phenomenal, we're in front of some really, really big things. And that's really what's going to make this platform go, right? When people realize that this is a platform that A, has the most dynamic support community ever seen in this industry, and it's only getting stronger. And number two, we're attracting real business projects in the blockchain world, and we're bringing those two things together. Uh, it's just, uh, it, it's, it, it's a unicorn scenario. And this is going to be a big opportunity for all members. So on July 1st, please mark your calendars, set your timers, let your team know at 10 a.m. UTC time, we will be doing a webinar. In fact, on the webinar, we're going to do a screen share and you're going to see the very first DAISY token package purchased live on screen share. You're going to see the very first. So you're going to actually see the, the DAISY token back office. And you're going to see the very first live DAISY token package purchased on that webinar. And as soon as that first token package is purchased, we're going to hit end on the webinar. We're going to close the webinar. We're going to hit end on the webinar. And every member can go log into the website and do exactly what you just saw us do on the live webinar. So make sure you're there at 10 a.m. because we're going to show every go through all the details. And we're going to actually show you exactly how to log in to the daisypresale.com website and exactly how to purchase your tokens right there from that back office. And then from there, 
it's uh, it's go time. So uh, we'll see everybody on July 1st uh, at 10 a.m. UTC time. Uh, you can go to daisycrowd.com to go on that website. It'll be translated in eight different languages, live, live translation in eight different languages. And then we will uh, go live from that webinar. So thank you everyone for uh, your, your, your belief and your, your commitment to the DAISY vision. And uh, here we go, phase two, DAISY crowdfunding platform. Let's rock and roll. Alex, thank you so much for your time and, and energy. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody.